keep a drink on me, this pair on me, but I can't go out. Yeah. All them demons they praying on me, trying to change on me, but they doing them wrong. I was just trying to draw the whole I was taking it off, and I told her to take it slow. Yo, this Twitter vid right here. Oh my god. If you know, you know. Hey little niggas. Hey little niggas. Hey little niggas. Y'all go ahead and defend me to everybody right now. That won't happen. You shouldn't say it. Don't you? I don't know. I don't Wait, know. you guys really feel like that? You know, you be saying it. I've Wait, heard but he's it. white. What does she mix with? What is? What is? What the fuck? What's Kara? I'm about to call her Kara. What's Kara mixed with? And I'm like, this nigga been in hella movies because he a rapper, this nigga. Like, and that's literally when I started being like, I want to be a rapper. Anytime there's a female artist that come out, sometimes this shit could be special. But then sometimes this shit could be weird. When ice, seen ice, females ice, that come ice. in the game and do some... Listen, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm just like on some like bullshit or I'm just like being hella delusional. But with with Nikki, I don't know why. When I see her in costume, she did not look real. She looked like... Like fake, if that shit makes sense. Her face, I didn't expect her face to really look like this. This look like Nikki. I feel like she got cloned, but you know, see, I'm probably just bullshitting and shit. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't. By the way, I seen her from Kai. The way she act, I don't. I don't. I don't really fuck with Nikki. But her her old music cool though. That shit go. That that everybody. Uh 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 body. Oh, that shit ass. The B carry. I'm sorry. Shout out to Uzi, but I, I, I don't know. She cool, though. I got to like, because the bars be taking that shit or so. I might get swatted or some shit. Good things, you know? But the minute you get a name for yourself, whatever you did in the past can also hunt you down. And how you react to the situation can also damage your career. But I feel like there's someone that's really taking off right now. But you have such a huge audience hating on this person. Almost for everything. And bringing up her past. The female artist, Caribou. I know y'all didn't see. She was real lucky. What? I seen that picture, but I didn't think that shit was actually real. I thought that y'all seen, I thought it was Photoshop or something. Seen this person for many different reasons. A lot of these niggas know her from Lil Yachty. Many people know her from the freestyle Sorry, that she just did on, on the radar. Some of y'all niggas might know her from Twitter. Because her name is on there everywhere. But that's the thing. We not finna give a whole- This song is eyes. This- Get a box still 40. That shit eyes. Whole history and do all that damn rambling about who Caribou is. We care about the music and we care about the controversy. But Caribou is a female right. artist that's under the same label as Lil Yachty, aka the Concrete Boy. One of the biggest reasons I feel like she popping is because of the freestyle that she did on, on the radar. DC2 Trill and Lil Yachty did their thing, but them other niggas, mm -mm. and we Caribou came in King and did her pride. shit. And you can tell that Caribou had that dog in her. Cause when you listen to these lyrics, this freestyle was so damn good that I thought this nigga Lil Yachty wrote the lyrics for her. She was born for this rap shit. But that's the thing. I don't think nobody really thinks the same way that I do, you know? And I know y'all probably asking. She okay, hard, why? though. That's she hard. I fuck with three her. Things that I not only damage her career, but it's making people really hate on Caribou. So the first thing we're going to talk about, why nobody takes Caribou serious and how she became a rapper. One of the biggest reasons why nobody take her serious is because she didn't want to be a rapper at first. Because I know y'all niggas wondering, where did Caribou come from? Why is her music just now popping up now, you know? A year ago, before all this rapping shit, Caribou used to be a so-called assistant for Lil Yacht. And there was one day that the whole group was at this movie studio. And Lil Yachty was so-called doing some voiceovers for a movie. But when Caribou seen that Lil Yachty was doing voiceovers for this movie, she thought about being a rapper because she always wanted to get into acting. She always wanted to be in some movies, you know? And she felt like one of the- That is dumb as shit. That, that, that gotta be the dumbest shit I fucking heard. You hear, you hear somebody do voiceovers and shit? And so you start rapping to get into acting? What? Easiest ways to get into acting is to be a rapper and get called up for some movies. And when Lil Yachty heard this shit, he was all for it because they already been knowing each other for a minute. So boom, Caribou started taking all these freestyles she was doing behind scenes and making them into singles. But the shit don't stop right there. Ass, ass, boxed. You gotta box this on his ass. <laughs> Oh, yo, this looks she was making music videos to these damn songs. So that's when Money Counter dropped and then Box to 40. But when Box to 40 dropped, this song was like a good thing for Caribou, but it was also like a curse. You know what I'm saying? Not only when she performed it, but when she even made the song. But the whole song, she talked about how she ain't messing with no scammers no more. She ain't messing with these niggas no more. And then she talked about her damn pooty putter the whole time. But it was a hard ass beat. You feel me? It was the a good song. Hard. But the nobody really took hard. her serious. Because if niggas being honest, any female can hop on this damn mic and talk about their damn pooty putter. And if you look good, you damn right. gonna blow up. And Caribou even said it herself. In her past interview, she told everybody she don't like Box to 40. Because to this day, even while she making her new shit, people still use this song against her and try to make her something she not. So she told everybody, that's not even me. The shit I said in that song was just a freestyle. But that's not who I am. So this brings me to my second point about everybody bringing up Caribou's past. So and she trying to be a porn star?
But after that whole situation, she still proceeds to make music. You feel me? The songs that she got with Anisia is banger. Them on the radar freestyles, that shit is a banger. But the songs she been making lately, you can tell that she was born for this rap shit. So Caribou name been growing everywhere. Listen, of course she with the game Concrete Boy, but Caribou got her own damn name now. You can't really knock her down for that shit, man. But what I'm finna talk about right now made a lot of people scratch their damn head. I'm not sure why it took so long for people to notice this shit, but in most of her songs, the usage of the word nigga is used a lot of times. So a lot of people on Twitter were just is frying her for saying the word nigga. And Is apparently, big there's a video out. I got my shit back. Hold on. Ooh. Hold on. What I say? Nigga, appreciate the fucking on, 14 months. Louis E. E. I. Fucking goat. Appreciate the sub there. Of caribou accent. Lil Yachty and What's caribou? Is she, is, she, is she white and black? Is she white and black? You think if she says it, could I say it? Old concrete crew. Nah, I'm fucking. Huh? I need to get. I need to get. And that son, boy. Whoo. Let that sun torch my shit. Then we'll have this conversation in a couple months. They can clear her name for saying a word, nigga. And I'm not sure if Lil Yachty was joking or not, but this nigga said, no, that is not okay. Yeah, see? Ha, uh -huh, you're funny. You're hilarious. You see this skin complexion right now? Mm -mm. But if you see this bitch from the waist down, though, you better be changing your mind. Uh-uh. I ain't trying to get put in one of these clips. You see You see what he doing right now with Caribou? Because these people don't fuck with it because she's saying the horror. Oh, not the horror. I take that shit back. That's an allegation. She's saying the N word and shit. He said you shouldn't be using a word even that much. And she sat there looking like she got hit with a stun grenade and clueless. And she asked him, are y'all serious? And they all said, yeah, you got to stop doing that. Y'all go ahead and defend me to everybody right now. That won't happen. You mm. shouldn't say it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Wait, know. you guys really feel like Does draft they say? That you know, you be saying it? I've Wait, heard but he's white. But it's crazy because Lil Yachty made a tweet and he posted a picture of Caribou doing her fashion shit. But the caption made everybody confused. The caption said, my little nigga saying, what? So everybody was like, wait, what he? <laughs> Yo, I was, I was reading the caption. I was mad confused. I was mad fucking confused. I'm like, I'm like, what? Said, my little nigga saying, what? So everybody was like, wait, what did he just say? Yeah, but that shit happened. <laughs> and that only made the, more people that, clueless. That caption is fine. That caption hard as shit. I mean, it is rumors out there. People saying that her dad is black. But who really knows? But trust me, there's a lot of people that don't like the fact that Caribou keeps saying nigga. But nobody really knows what she is. So this brings me to my next point about why Caribou gets a lot of hate. Lucky. If y'all don't know who Lucky is, then you tripping, nigga. We Lucky get high, we get that fat. Been going crazy, nigga. We and if you don't know him, all you gotta fat. know is that he's a rapper, nigga. Okay? This nigga got a huge cult fan base, you know? But out of all all the time for this shit right, to happen, I didn't think things would go this far. But I'm not sure when. But in the past, Lucky and Caribou used to have a little thing going on. You feel me? Now see, there's nothing wrong with this. You do what you want with your pooty putter. I'm not sure if it was from the Caribou fans or the Lucky fans. But in the underground, this picture was trending everywhere. It's not about why this picture leaked. It's about what niggas did after this picture leaked. That's when the Twitter hate started to come in. I'm not even sure DK. how the fuck these niggas found. <laughs> come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. This bitch. This Vin? I love my girl. I dead ass do. Bro, I'll do anything for a video like these. Like these. Am I. What's the word? Am I. I'm not bitching. But am I being out of pocket right now? You goddamn right. But if you've seen this video, you know, you know. This shit. After these niggas already leaked a picture of Caribou and Lucky, niggas found an older video of Caribou throwing ass. This video was trending on Twitter, and these niggas took all the leaks and made it a cool thing to call Caribou ugly. All the little niggas from the underground, fans from everywhere were just calling her ugly. They called her. She's, she's not even ugly, bro. Uh, Caribou, Caribou's not even ugly. She alright. She cool. Or a hoe. And I feel like this shit was really lame. And it got to a point that Caribou felt uncomfortable. She started asking everybody, why do y'all hate me so much? Why don't y'all like me? Did I do something to y'all? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not sure why niggas care about a female twerking. I really don't know. But this brings me Time to the shit. point of why I made this damn video. I know a lot of y'all niggas confused. But I'm finna explain this shit. Caribou's past can't damage her career. It's about how she reacts to this shit. Mm -hmm. If she ignored this shit, I don't think niggas would really care. And trust yeah. me, I know. Caribou get a lot of hate for no reason. And bro, she's on a rise right now. She's doing her but thing. But if she keep tuning in to that hate Shit, and the hate might overcome you and break you down. I talked to one of my Ooh. homeboys the other day, and I asked him, I said, hey, man, what do you think about Caribou? This nigga could have said so many different things, but the one thing he said, I ain't gonna lie, man, it's something about Caribou face that pissed me off. What? I'm telling y'all, these niggas making it a cool thing to she make cool. fun of Caribou. It don't even gotta be a- I fuck Caribou. Listen, whoa, I ain't, I ain't gotta take that shit back. Caribou, you see this shit? I fuck with you. The long way, the strong way, you hard. I respect you, and you know what I'm saying? I preach positivity. You is not chopped.
You was not chopped, no cheese. You want to see somebody who chopped? You want to see who somebody who's really ugly as shit? Who, who really don't even got that facial structure? Look at fucking gorilla. Gorilla, you you look good. You look better than gorilla, and that's a fucking fact. About the music, these niggas will do anything to bring her name down. See, with me, nigga, I think she makes great music. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about this whole situation. What do y'all think about Karen? Is she overhated or is she overrated? Make sure to follow my IG right now. But it's D U T I E, I'm not sister myself. Tough, shout out to bro, shout out to duty, shout out to fucking duty. He tough. I, I, I ain't subscribed yet because y'all saying this is your, your first video, so this is a tough vid. You, you gotta win me back, you gotta win me back. Huh. Why do we train on the side? Just stay off the medicine, stay off the pill. Mommy, so we don't get on the side. I really be fucked with this off for real. Shit like a motherfucking boss. Half of your nigga be fucking in pots. Bad moment on the low. Shawty, your family.